Last time we were here, we had helped the monster control unit take out this enemy camp. And then we pillaged everything that we could find. So I'm ready to go over to the nearby shrine on the way towards the northwest part of the map. Remember, Pura wants us to investigate the regional phenomena. There's no time to waste. Whoa, Bree, that impresses me. Good girl. Good time to get out of the rain, so we'll do the shrine. Oh, boys, hey. I don't want to leave y'all around for no particular good reason. Oh, you're going to be a toughie. Let's find a better weapon. See, I don't like fighting the monster groups because if you're trying to do parries and flurry rushes, the timing is all broken. You never know if you're going to get one. It's better off if you just have one-on-one -on -one monster fights. So it's, a, it's really fun to try, but it is so much harder when you got a group. So Yai Shrine. A spitting device. Susu Yai Shrine. Alright, there is a chest on one of these carts. Probably will catch it best with Ultra Hand. But it's still active. So if I turn it over, it will stop, right? There we go. Good. Just passing through. Watch out for f traveling carts. Do you want us to build our own? Ah, not pretty. So what we could do... Then maybe reposition it? Hmm. I think that'll be more even. Yeah. Then we situate it. <laughs> a bit dramatic, don't you think? But it gets the job done. Why do the tires sound like they're screeching? <laughs> then... Get the gate open like this? Ah, we're going to have to use Recall. Got to craft another vehicle. Oh. Well, not exactly a vehicle. We got to get across the line. So we got wheels. Okay, I remember what to do. Let's... Just get rid of that ice ore. I don't like the big clubs on my back when I don't have to. They just look ugly and weighty. Don't look comfortable. So we need the wheel to push this forward. So that's the only way it's going to work. Then hit it with an arrow maybe. And we are off. It worked. Light of Blessing number five. So that makes, I believe, the ninth blessing we've got. Okay. So there is the cyclone over Hebra Mountain there. It's not as close as it appears. So, the road is right there. That's good. 
This is another enemy monster camp. I'm interested in dealing with on the way. Yeah, so it looks like a bigger hilltop than it actually is. This must be the backside. Can I ascend right there? I'm going to save my spot just in case autosave doesn't do me favors. And then if we can ascend, we can maybe sneak up on him. Yes. Oh, this is going to be great. One's about to break. Might as well go ahead and use it properly with the dynamite. Make a plan before we attack. Well, what are we looking at here? Got a Bospo Coblin. <laughs> Just chilling. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't be too tough. But it is raining. So we can't take advantage of bombs. Maybe we go over that way and just pick them off one by one. Wow, they're throwing a lot of rocks. Hopefully the lightning will strike some of them. What can I use? Fire will go out. We don't have anything electrical. In the rain, that would be really good. Might work in a pinch. Now we don't want to use one of these... Sh well... The explosion will work a bit in the rain, but probably not as much as it would have if it was not raining. Ah, come on. I'm not trying to fight you. I'm going to fight this other guy. Oh, one of them's armored. How long is it gonna rain? Oh, we can use the fire if we shoot through it. Oh, no. Come on, give it a whack. You know you wanna. Better eat. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Who's left? Did we take out the boss? Oh, dang! No! <laughs> and we start all over. Okay. You know, it happens in this game. 50 game overs and a victory is still a victory. 
And now we have experience in our favor. So we know what to do this time, right? We're not going to make the same mistakes. I have an idea. If we can take advantage of this before. Oh, uh, the rain just started. Excellent. Okay, maybe we take advantage of these metal things. Come on, hit me. It does destroy the shield, and it's not hurting the boss very much. Did it get his armor? Doesn't look like it did. There we go. Look out! Let's get rid of the bowman. More powerful. No! <laughs> we were doing so well. Okay. Here we go again. Round three. Time for a new strategy. Get rid of the archer first. Come on, boys. If you come here, I have a present. Hmm, they're not coming. Oh, come on. How far did you throw that thing? Okay. Got him. No. Any special tactics? Got him. Look out. Here it comes. Oh, recall. Give us another. <laughs> it doesn't look like it did much. Maybe give it a farther throw? If it doesn't do it this time, it won't bother recalling it again. Oh, come on. Anything up here we can take advantage of? Yeah, more dynamite. I didn't expect him to come up here. Oh, come on. How did it hurt me? Come on. No, <laughs> I did not mean to be holding the ax. All right, last one. Watch out for thunder and lightning still. 
Well, we got somebody we can rescue. Hydox Hammer. Here we go. Who's this? Is this Botrick? Kino. Thank you. I'm saved. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. I've a fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then, defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The Blood Moon. It is my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something. But I got too close, and here I am. Please, take this for saving me. Salt Grilled Mushrooms. You want another? All right. Hasty Fish and Mushroom Skewer. No, I can't insult you with that pathetically small show of thanks. Take this too. Hearty Elixir. Okay, I'll, you know, worth dying three times for, getting three meals. Do you think we'll see the moon tonight? Hmm. I hope this rain lets up soon. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now, quick, let's split up before a monster spots us. You never know how a monster fight's gonna end up, and I had no idea that Hino was here. But it was totally worth it in the end. Anything in these cages? Yeah. Toasted hearty truffle. And a treasure chest. Traveler's Shield. The Bospo Coblin been trimming his toenails over here? <laughs> his fangs. Okay, that's where he died, I guess. It must have fallen to the ground. Yes, finally, we did it. And go back here to get back to our horse. All right, that's gonna do it for this part. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know all about that particular monster camp and what not to do, what to do. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. May God bless you all. Cheers.